Hello, everyone. Welcome to People VIP. Today's guest is fitness expert and book author, Joy Thurman. Joy, welcome. How are you? Uh, I'm great. You know, it, it's sunny where I am. You know, we're, we're not going to talk about the weather where you're at, but I, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Sure. For those that may not know you well, Joy, tell us about yourself. How and when did you get started in the fitness industry? I've been an athlete my entire life, you know, started playing hockey and soccer at five years old, hockey through college, these teeth, yeah, they are real, by the way, lots of, lots of dental work there, um, no no facial reconstruction, yeah, this is me. Uh, yes, hockey through college, and I always just had a love for working out and fitness after college, I decided not to go to law school and, you know, or play, you know, pro hockey and get, get beat up, so... I decided to become a personal trainer and then from there it got certified in nutrition and started just adding a bunch of initials behind my name and started training some celebrities in Chicago, local celebrities, and started training some movie stars when they were filming things there and wrote my first book six, seven years ago and Today Show picked it up and that was kind of, um, yeah, the momentum swing there and that's Today Show, GMA, Kelly and Ryan, Harry Connick Jr., Sherry Shepard, Tamron Hall, my own Facebook oh, watch thing. series, uh, Beach Body Deal, a bunch of different things. So. Yeah, this ne this next book um, it's it's pre sale now and yeah so that's kind of how I got into it in my quick thirty second elevator pitch. Oh my goodness, bravo! Yeah, <laughs> you didn't yeah, do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this new book, the minimum method, the least you can do to be a stronger, healthier, happier you. I love that name. What what is it that inspired you to write this book, and what do you think is the message? Yeah, I think the message is one, I apologize for the entire fitness and nutrition industry in the beginning of this book, because for so long, we're told to get up and crush life and work out and your diet has to be 100% on point. And if you have a bag of chips, it's bad for you. And I used to tell my clients all that. Oh, I, I used to live by that. I felt bad if I did something where I skipped a workout. You know, sometimes we need to live in the gray. We, we don't always need to go with the black and the white. And we can look in between the lines and we can realize we don't have to get out and crush every single workout. Look at a professional athlete they're not going game speed every single day they have bye weeks they have off days and we need to treat ourselves like that and give ourselves a little bit of grace and realize that this is a ultra marathon this is not a sprint it's not even a regular marathon our life we need to continue going on and so I looked at all these research things and what's the least you can do for all these different things whether it's sleep or mindset motivation exercise gut health all this sort of different stuff and I put it into a chapter you know different chapters where you can look at it like if if you're a let's go, let's say you're a beginner trying to get off the couch to the starting line, here's what you can do. All right, if you're already in that race, you're level up, here's what you can do. And if you're already in that race and you're trying to get to the finish line, you're go, 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 you know, that's the max out people. So I wrote this for everybody, but it's really for that person just struggling to get moving and think about, I need to do all of these things. And I see all of these things on social media and these celebrities. And yes, when I train a celebrity, they have three months to get ready for a movie. Absolutely, they're working out twice a day. I've got a chef cooking for them. They have supplementation. They might see a doctor, right? For all these different things. Yeah, you're getting paid 15, 20 million for a movie. I'm gonna work out and do everything I I can for that but most people don't have that luxury they don't have me and all these this other team around them so that's the person i wrote this book for perfect i definitely need to pick up a copy because i'm wondering how you find that balance right between like the working out trying to get better every single day let me ask you something imagine a client is like so discouraged during a training session how do you keep that person motivated yeah, so here's the thing we've got intrinsic and extrinsic motivation and one you can't get better every single day like what one percent better every day well the scale only goes up to 100 percent. you can't do 101 percent. so even that mentality right there is hard for us to attain because you can't consistently get better every single day some workouts are going to suck right that's not going to happen so you're not going to crush it so some days maybe it's okay for you to realize like okay if you, if you had a long long day the night before maybe the kid was up screaming maybe you've got you know um, in-laws you're taking care of anything like that if you had a stressful night maybe the next day you realize okay I'm not going to kill it during this workout it's enough for me to show up for myself right now and instead of thinking I have to work out I think I get to work out right now and changing that mindset is huge in just keeping you going there so instead of thinking like wow i i, I didn't lift as much as i could or run as far as i normally do or i or i didn't you know do the workout that i did in high school 20 years ago you know it's okay right. you're still in the game it's all right and sometimes we don't need to work out we need to work in on ourselves right now i'm appreciating 
where I'm at. I'm hopefully I can help hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, you know, if people purchase this book. And then from there, we'll see what happens. Speaking engagements, TV shows. I mean, I, I do a lot of different things. I had five jobs the last time I counted, um, but really helping spread the word. And hopefully I can, I can change. I can be that little thorn, that pinprick in the fitness and nutrition industry. And people are like, wow, this guy, maybe I don't need to work out so hard. Right? Maybe, maybe I can give myself some grace. Maybe I can work in on myself because I picked up this book. I read that one page, right? You know, I don't just want to help one person. Like if I help one person, it's all better. No, I want to help thousands and thousands okay. and thousands of people and make a lot of money at the same time. It's okay to say that I can't help a lot of people and make a lot of money. Those don't have to be mutually exclusive. Right. You helped me today with your tips a lot. You have no idea. <laughs> I feel I'm so sending you a virtual, right virtual hug. Look, look at these arms. That, that hug is right, right around the camera. <laughs> Thank you, Joey, so much for your time and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you so much.